Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Sandbox Channel. Today, we're going to be building the High Grade Universal Century, the Power Rider Ground Heavy Equipment Time. I don't exactly remember who told me to reveal this before because uh, when I recorded the unboxing video back in November or December, I don't I don't remember it clearly. But back when I was shooting the unboxing video, somebody down in the comments told me to review the Power Rider. So here you here you go. Uh, I finished your job. So anyway, so the Power Rider um, it, It's a pretty early pre Bandai as you can see here is is almost five years ago. Wow time passed so quick So let's just unboxing it first So let's just be very honest right here the runners are not really too much So that's why I can quickly go through them and um, one thing I want to really Give a thumbs up to what Bandai is. You make a completely new instruction manual for the premium Bandai. Good job. Uh, so let's just quickly look at this. So the introduction right here. Um, so quickly just look at it. Just quickly go through it. So it seems like it's a new mode, which is why there's no part left. That's pretty good. Okay, so just quickly look at it. Okay, done. Let's look at the runners first. So first we have a F runner. So the F runner, you can see that I can see some missile part right here, some gun guns part, uh, the knife. I believe this is a knife. This is the shield and probably this is the uh, Gatling gun. We have the A part right here. The A part is the main body armor so we can see that there's some legs part there is some waist part there is some arms right here uh some feet some uh, the head part right here antennas we can see shoulders we can see the the legs armor right here the vikes uh, i can say that um basically the outside armor of the unit we have the E runner right here we can see that that's the machine uh the, the little machine gun right here and then we have the shield we have the C runner right here. The C runner, uh, I think it contains the arms part up here and then we have some waist part here. And then we have the side skirt. We have some um, inner joint as well. We have a very simple hands option of the weapon hands. So, okay. And then we have some thrusters here. We have the B runner here. B runner, we have the torso right here, backpack, feet, uh i don't know what part is this this is probably the legs part and oh this is the legs part i don't know which two part is this but that's pretty much it and then we have the poly caps a very large poly caps and then we have two clear pieces right here one is for the normal mode one is for the, when the hay system activated so basically you can treat it like an exam system and then you have the beam saver effect part and then a huge amount of stickers so this make me very worried because you know I don't really have some good experience with these kind of sticker. That means that a lot of part is miscolored or didn't give you any color. So we'll see uh, when I when I snap the whole thing. So you know still debatable. So let's just uh, let myself just quickly build it and I'll see you guys at the review. Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Power Rider Ground Heavy Equipment Type. So this is the finishing of it. Uh, I have some opinions. I have some very, uh, I have some unhappy things about it, but you know, we will have to deal with it. So last time when I reviewed the second V, I really appreciate how they changed the old mode, how they, you know, improved it and give brand new color separation i know that second v and this thing have like a five year gap but seriously a lot of stickers on this thing that was such unnecessary it, it, it just like it just showed me that it's just bandai being lazy it's not it's not that they can't do it it's just they being lazy so power rider as i mentioned in the video um is is a brand new runner which means that bandai have a perfect op opportunity to do more color separation instead of just giving us like some unfit stickers uh, i will talk about that the unfit stickers thing later but i mean you open the new mode and then you just don't give us enough color separation that just sound weird i know i mean overall I'm, I'm pretty happy about the product it's just the stickers it's just a little too much and i will call it like I, and I would like to call it as sticker hell because a lot of sticker like 
as I like as I keep doing the review, I will tell you that a lot of sticker in here is actually really unnecessary, and I don't really know why that they don't give us a separate part about it. Anyway, so let's jump into the review first. So first, we're starting with the head. So this head kind of remind me of the Zaku design. Why? Because it got this horn right here. Then I always want to say that because you know, uh, in the Gundam in the Gundam universe, we always call that. The machine with an extra antenna on the head is called like a commander or you know super fast you know free time speed you know what i'm saying anyway so this head is mixed with the design between a gym and an actual gundam because normally gym we only have a clear piece but if you look closely to the head we can see that there there are eyes in it and you can tell that it is a pretty gundam ish design and um, unfortunately, the side of the head here, it is a sticker, but as I, as I said, stickers, as long as you stick on it, I'm happy with it. Um, so, you know, uh, it's just sad that they don't give us the extra kind of separation on the head, but that's fine. I mean, it's a 2015 product, I can't really say anything about it. The head connection is just pretty simple, it's just a uh, universal poly cap uh, between, so you can move the head around as well and then you know you can move a little bit up a little bit down and that's pretty much it now we're gonna look at the chest right here the chest though uh this part right here and this part right here are both stickers um which is i want to say something that because um this gamma actually contain two modes you can um put it as the normal mode which is something that i did right now or you can switch the stickers switch the head camera to red uh to the red clear piece and then you know activate the haze the hate system that's pretty much it uh but i really feel like that this white part right here they can really do some color separation about it because the shield have a uh, white color on it as well and it's it's achieved by sticker as well so i don't really understand why they don't just open an extra runner with just white color on it or as the snap on it i don't really understand the design but anyway that's fine so the torso though is not really something very explosive it's not something that very interesting either so it's just a pretty standard torso with some you know very uh, i would just say that below average color separation but the movement on the torso is actually pretty nice as well you can move um straight 90 degrees around so which is pretty good as well for the for the movement looking at the arms so first this yellow piece right here is of course a sticker the arm can move 360 lift up pretty fine uh you know bend pretty fine as well and then the uh, and then the hand here can move as well but this one right here is a little is a little easy to fall out so i would say that um it's, it might get annoying and then the whole arm we can rotate it around as well and unfortunately this kit doesn't contain you any sort of option hand so you only can stick with it uh the the arm can move a slightly bit to the front but really good moving to the back because you know the cannon is mounted and at the back this joint design purpose was to help you to hold the cannon easier so overall the uh the arm the shoulder um the design is pretty good the only part that you need to recolor is this small piece right here supposed to be white so this is the only part that you need to recolor now let's take a look at the lower part of the uh power rider so we look at it so this time the waist design is a little different but first before we dig into it so there are multiple stickers used on the waist. so first this yellow piece right here which is already start to flipping up uh the side of the skirt uh the skirt armor right here the back skirt right here they all are stickers that's a lot of stickers but anyway so first we can see that the side skirt have two beam savers to pull it out is actually pretty simple you just basically just you know tweeze it out whoops it, fly, it flew away but this gray piece right here is actually pretty easy to fall out so my suggestion to you is just just super glue it okay you will get a pretty you will get a bit annoyed eventually. So the front skirt is movable, side skirt is a slightly movable, the back skirt is completely immovable. Now let's take a look on the legs. So the legs design really reminds me of the heavy arms. Why? Because this is my side part right here. So it really m reminds me of the heavy arms. So first we just need to look at the, uh, briefly looking at the legs. So the legs, uh, it reminds me of the Gym Sniper 2 legs design. So. You know, I think the mode is based on it, but anyway, that's another story. So articulation, kicking to the front, fine. Kicking to the back, not really. Kicking to the side, um, it's getting in the way, so it's very hard to kicking to the side. 
Um, the sticker being used is this white part right here and this yellow piece right here. But as you can see, the sticker don't, don't really fit well and it costs a lot. Of, and the sticker just crumb together and it's not, it just looks very bad if you look closely. So I would suggest you that if you have the scale, if you have the material, just to repaint it, okay? And then the leg expanding angle is pretty fine. It's just um, uh, it's just 90 degrees. Um, and then we have the legs right here that can move uh, move side to side as well. This little bit of little piece of armor right here is movable as well. There are some details on the legs, um, although it did have some hollow part right here, but the details on the legs, there is a bit. So I think that's acceptable. The missile port supposed to be can be pulled out, but I found out that the missile port is actually pretty tight. Uh, once you snap it in, it's very hard to pull it back out. But this is a high grade, as I said. So don't expect it to don't expect it's gonna be like having any kind of missile detail missile detail inside the piece or anything like that. It's not even you can't even open it. So I I think that um. This is a high grade. You can't really complain. You can't really complain that there's no missile details. Let's take a look on the backpack. So the backpack, um, first at the right side of the backpack, we have this 180 millimeter cannon. Uh, the backpack itself don't really have anything interesting. It's just a very simple backpack with just two uh, thruster right here. Uh, the thruster is not even movable, so it's just not really that interesting to dig in. So I'll just dig into the cannon. So the cannon right here. Uh, it is a two separate parts, but it contain a uh, a arm right here, the robotic arm right here, so you can move the so you can move the cannon uh, to the front. So this cannon to assemble is pretty simple. You just need to you just need to take this piece off and then just put it put it back onto the front. So that's pretty easy as well. The handle the handle is inside here. You just basically have to flip it out and then just you know put it put it on put it on the Put it on the hand and there you go the the cannon is pretty easy to expand it it's pretty easy to flip it out it's not really hard so i think that you know it's pretty well but the only problem that i have is just you know the color is not really that interesting and it feels kind of too simple and it feels kind of boring so if if I'm you, I will just, you know, probably think about recovering the whole thing. So now I really want to focus on the accessory part. So the accessory part right here, first up, we have this uh, machine gun right here. This machine gun right here, I think you saw this machine gun like a hundred times. It's really boring. It's on, it's on like every single, every single gym related model. So it's not really interesting to look at, but the only sticker that is used is on the scope right here. So, you know, this, this machine gun right here is not really interesting or anything like that. And then we, of course, we have the beam saber effect part. I curved one of them. I curved one of them for for myself to you know pose it better. You know to add more detail when I pose it. So you know two beam sabers effect part. You can put it on. So it's not really like anything exciting or anything like that. But the most most annoying thing that I that I really hate, that I really have a comment on it, is this shield right here. First, the shield design, it looks pretty good. Uh, the front, the tip of the shield, it can move as well. I think that's pretty good. You know, to put it on the gamba, it's pretty simple. You just basically find the plug, plug it in, and boom, there you go. So now let's let's take it out, and I need to do a very, and I need to do a very serious criticism. Why? Because you know, look at this. All this white piece here is just stickers. It's just very lazy and it don't really fit on it. As you can see right here, the stickers don't really fit on it. And it, you know, has some little gap right here and it really affecting it. And the top of the shield here is supposed to be white as well. And, you know, you just have to repaint it yourself. Uh, my suggestion to you is just this white part right here. I suggest you just don't even use the stickers. The stickers looks very uh, ugly. And as, as you can see right here, the sticker don't even fit. And it got a little gap right here as well. So I'll just say that this shield, the color separation on it is just very lazy. And I don't, as I said, why can't you just open an extra one with just white part on it? It's not really that hard anyway. And it's just really ridiculous for me. Anyway, so last, Lastly, we have a lot of stickers left and this piece right here left out. Uh, if you choose to, when you when you assemble this kit, it will ask you that would you like to put on the put on the stickers when the haze mode is not activate or you want to put it or you want to put the stickers is where it shows the haze mode activate. So when the haze mode activate, you will put on these sort of sticker as you can see right here, the red sticker right here, the the uh 
the outer color right here as well and this red piece right here is for the hay system so you know before you assemble it you need to choose what mode you want to you want to put you want to put on your gun bucket i i choose the normal mode so that's why i didn't put on any kind of haze sticker on it so you know you read you gotta need you're gonna need to make a choice because once you put on the sticker if you if you remove it um i don't think you can switch it back to the normal again so make sure to make your decision clear and make sure you make your decision wisely okay guys today uh the review will just end here uh power rider i would just say that uh it is a very it was like a five year ago product so uh really though a lot of things is not really that good back then so if you ask me is this worth to buy or not it's really hard to design like do you really like this because you know every time when you buy gunpowder you need to consider it like do you like it or not if you not really like it i suggest you just don't because there is a lot of part that you need to recolor and it really takes a lot of work the power rider i would just say that yet yeah, the design is pretty cool it's pretty good it's pretty cool but a lot of stickers it's just a lot of stickers it really ruining the design and I just say that if you are someone that really lazy like myself, I suggest you just don't buy it because the sticker hell really take away the fun. So I'll just say that unless you have huge love towards this design, I think you can skip this premium Bandai. But anyway, this is the end of the video. Hope you guys like it. Leave a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel for more content. And make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button so you can get notified whenever I uploaded a video. And uh, I will see you guys in the next review. Goodbye.